A hundred and five days ago, I got these crystal seeds and this crystal growing powder so that I could see if I could grow my own crystals. And four months later, they're all fully grown and I'm here with quite the update. It all started with the first crystal. I poured the powder in my cup, added a hundred milliliters of boiling water, spent way too long mixing it so that it would dissolve completely, and I waited for the liquid to get to room temperature and then poured it into its final home into this little clear cup. Then I got my crystal seed ready. I had never seen one of these before in my life, so I thought it was really cool. And I placed it right in the center of the cup. I figured we would have a nice green, teal, bluey crystal that would grow, so I put the lid on, got the time lapse rolling, and waited seven whole days for it to grow. I was really excited to get this nice, shiny, hard crystal, but after a week passed and it still just looked like this, you know what I realized? I didn't dissolve the powder well enough. And apparently, if we want our crystal to grow to maximum size, the solid powder has to be dissolved completely. But this was the first crystal I had ever grown, so I didn't know this. And I was gonna heat it in the microwave, I was so sad I didn't, I thought maybe it would explode on me, until a chemist informed me that it would be okay. And when I realized that there was no going back and our first crystal would probably never grow, I got eight new ones, okay? And this time, I was not gonna mess it up. I started with the first two out of the bunch, one green and one purple, and decided I would try two different ways of growing them to give us options and to make sure that they would really work this time. Of course, I decided to microwave the first one and make sure the powder dissolved completely, okay? Got that fat crystal seed right inside of the dissolved liquid, covered it up, and then got working on our second crystal, or should I say third? This one, I boiled the solution in a stainless steel pot. That way we definitely couldn't mess up. And I figured as long as the liquid is fully dissolved, then we're gonna be good. I poured it into a little container, added my crystal seed inside the solution, covered the top and waited seven days for these to grow. After 24 hours passed, I removed the covers on the top of the containers and did my best with the time lapses. The green one looked a little something like this. It started changing colors from blue to green to blue. It was really cool. And after seven days, they looked like this. There was still liquid in the container, so I ended up waiting 15 more days until all of the liquid dissolved completely and it looked like this. And it was so beautiful. I had to figure out a way to get it out of the container. It was completely stuck. At first I tried tweezers, but that didn't work. So I tried pouring some hot water on the bottom and it popped right out. I wasn't really sure what was going on with the snowflakes on top of the crystal, but the bottom looked amazing. And remember this, because I'm gonna tell you what I learned about the crunchy snowflakes on top later. But as for the purple one, it grew into something a little like this. It still had a little liquid in it, but I decided it was ready to take it out of its container. And this one popped out a lot easier and it was looking good. Our eight crystals came with a light up base and I wanted this one to fit in our light up glow up container thingy. So I peeled off the edges of each of these crystals so they could fit inside, added them right in. And the moment of truth came, I plugged it in, turned out the lights and they looked amazing. But I still didn't really like the tops of the crystals. They looked like tiny clouds that weren't really meant to be on the crystals. So I kept this in mind as I moved on to crystal number three. I wanted a pink one, so pink it was. This time I used a silicone cup to get the shape just right for our light up base. I made sure to dissolve the liquid completely, added the crystal seed inside, got the time lapse rolling, and in just six days, our pink crystal morphed away in its silicone cup to create some kind of pink kryptonite. It was time to take it out of the cup, but what I didn't want to happen ended up happening again. The little snowflakes growing on top of the crystals. So I peeled them off and even though our crystal was looking really good, like Superman's Fortress of Solitude good, I was still gonna make sure that I didn't have those snowflakes on the next one we grew. I had to light it up in the base though, turned out the lights and revealed the magic of Glinda and Elphaba. So beautiful, I was quite literally obsessed and ready to move on to crystals number four and five and I figured I was ready for a deep blue sapphire crystal and a glow in the dark crystal. So I got to work and I was really digging the silicone mold since it made the crystal come out so perfectly. So you know the drill, dissolved the powder completely, added the crystal seed in two separate cups, got the time lapse rolling and waited seven days for them to grow. I was determined not to have those snowflakes growing on top. And remember when I told you that we would circle back to this? Well, I learned that the snowflakes grew on top because I let the crystal stay too long in the cup. 
So even though there was more liquid in the cup, I thought initially you had to dissolve all of the liquid, but you didn't. I had to take the crystals out just before the snowflakes started to form, and then we would have a near perfect crystal. And I did indeed succeed because both crystals turned out exactly how I imagined the crystals to grow in my head. The blue one was so beautiful and the glow in the dark clear crystal was awesome. I lit them up and realized that I was starting to get a little bored of these and at this point in time it was around Christmas and I was growing some chia seeds on this 3D printed tree and I figured what is a Christmas tree without ornaments? And in that moment I knew I had to turn crystals number 6 and 7 into ornaments for the chia tree. So I chose red and orange crystal powders and suspended pipe cleaners that I turned into shapes into the liquid instead of the crystal seed. Waited a couple days for them to grow and soon they looked a little something like this. I was so excited, they honestly looked so cute and when I put them on my tree, you know what, it's not the most beautiful thing you ever seen, but it was cute that we grew the tree and the crystals, okay? I even tried growing crystals with salt and this is how those turned out. I ended up putting them on my tree and don't laugh, but this is how it ended up looking, okay? Beautiful. So, sad that my journey was almost over, I started on our final crystal, the yellow one. And this is what it ended up looking like. But I realized that since we had some leftover liquid, maybe I could grow more crystals in the liquid? Gosh, I should have saved all the other liquids too. But this was a little experiment, so I added some of the little geodes that we cracked open into the liquid, waited a few days until they looked like this. And obviously, it's clear that I got a crystal growing obsession, so when I found these at my local dollar store, I I had to get them and see if they would actually grow and they turned out like this. So this is how our eight crystals turned out. Well, I guess eight crystals turned into like 10 or 15 or 20 crystals, but look how beautiful they are. I decided that I would light it up for the very last time to see our little fortress complete. But I ended up sitting there thinking how fast 105 days passed before my very eyes. And the only thing I could think of in that moment was what we could try growing crystals out of next. Just wait till you see the laundry detergent crystals and eggshell crystals I grew.